Now, the rest of the story. Private Len Smith was an artist, a sketch artist, enlisted in the British Army in 1914, age 22. He might otherwise have served in the First World War as an ordinary infantry private, I suppose, but it didn't take too long for his superiors to decide how best to use him. They routinely sent him behind enemy lines with a pencil and paper. They had him draw what he saw, troops, weapons, landscapes of prospective battlefields. And so detailed were these drawings that Len Smith's commanding officers based their subsequent strategies on his drawings. And you should see those so-called pencil sketches. I mean, they're like photographs, many of which were drawn in segments, later reassembled to create panoramas six feet long. But you would never guess what Private Smith's artistry enabled the British Army to do in this one instant. The British were fighting in Arras, in France, 1915. They had a plan to dig a tunnel to a vantage point within a few yards of the enemy headquarters from which British observers could spy on the Germans completely unnoticed. However, they would first send Private Smith out to size up the situation. Most important, he must draw the target area. And this vantage point, in such stunning detail, had become his trademark. Well, he did it. He did it. Smith crawled deep into no man's land one night, hid out close enough to the Germans' HQ to get a good look, and drew every aspect of it precisely. And the Royal Engineers took it from there. So how come you never heard of Private Len Smith? Why has it taken so long for his role in the First World War to be declassified? Well, whether by accident or design, that young man whose drawings of enemy territory contributed so substantially to victory for the Allies, he came home, he became a commercial artist, a designer of Christmas cards and chocolate boxes. He was never officially recognized or decorated, and only just now, 34 years after his death, has he been revealed as the British Army's secret weapon, an earthbound spy satellite, a one-man Google Earth. By the way, that mission that we were talking about earlier, you know what it was that Smith drew? It was a tree big old tree, 20 feet from enemy heartbeats, which Private Smith illustrated in such detail and so accurately that British engineers were able to make a precise replica out of steel now, but they made it look just like that tree. And one night somehow they sneaked in and removed the real tree. They replaced it with the steel tree. And from then on, a steady stream of British observers went back and forth through the tunnel they dug, perched themselves up inside the fake tree, and they saw and overheard everything. We speak so respectfully of 21st century satellite reconnaissance and military technology, and rightly so. Only now you know the rest of the story.